Hi everyone, this is PhD Natural Me and this is Vlog from the Road, the Keto RV Lifestyle. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. Well, I am a little over a week into restarting keto and I have lost 8.8 .8 pounds. By the time I load this, it may be a little bit more because I'm a little behind on recording, but I am so excited. Things that I'm doing now that I didn't do before, well, I, well, that I did before and I stopped. I told you I stopped recording what I was eating and I find that if I record what I eat, it keeps me on track. Also, just paying attention to my five finger guidelines that I had stated before. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're satisfied, drink when you're thirsty, don't eat more than 20 grams of carbohydrate or have a total of 20 carbohydrates or less of, of carbs and divide those up into five to seven grams per meal. My meals are not scheduled. I eat when I'm hungry. So that's my version of intermittent fasting. It could be four hours, it could be seven hours, it could be two hours. It varies. It really just varies. I am typically more hungry in the afternoon, so I try to plan some snacks. I made me some jello and some fat bombs. Oh man, they're chocolate, coconut, and peanut butter fat bombs. I bought some dark chocolate off of Amazon. Actually, it was a year ago and I forgot that I had them hidden in my closet. So I just took those and made some fat bombs and they were delicious, absolutely delicious. So I try to have some snacks on hand because I am typically a snacker. I like to snack. I haven't done much with when I have the fat bombs. They're very satisfying. I know there are some people who disagree with making fat bombs and that's okay. For me, it works. And it's been 8.8 .8 pounds and I'm excited. I can feel it already in my clothes. So, and I see it on the scale. I haven't gone crazy with, with weighing myself. I just, I said I was going to weigh once a week, but I can feel me feeling lighter. So I just got on the scale. But I'm not going to let that rule me. I will let it be a guide and a tool, but not the ultimate answer whether keto is working for me or not. So what are some things that you do? I would love to hear them. What works for you on keto? And I think that's about it that I want to share. So stay healthy, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.